In this example, we have two different diagrams, one proxy port diagram and one full port diagram. These are similar examples, but one of them is going to struggle in some of the aspects that the other one will not. So we can see on this that this is our full port, our yellow port, and these are our proxy ports, these green ports. You can create these ports by hitting the proxy port drop down and creating proxy port or full port. Um, each of these child, child A, child B, child C, have activities associated with them, as well as this environment for both examples. So with that, we'll go with the proxy port example first, which is our method that we think is better. So with that, we will go ahead and run this example. So we'll open this up so you can see all the value properties within the children. And then we'll push play. And so we'll start here, we'll wait a second and we'll send a signal from child A over P1 to child B. Then child B receives that signal, adds one, that you can see there, sends it to child C via P3. And then child C receives that signal, adds one to the child C, so right here, and then sends that signal, one, two, three. But notice we don't have the via P3, so it didn't actually know what to send it over. So we need to go add via P5 onto this signal, and then it will work. So to do that, we'll go in here, hit enter, look up on port, and then you can search for it and then just look up P5 and P5. So I selected it. I click close and now you see via P5 right there. So I'll just hit stop and restart this simulation and you'll see that it works this time. So you see at the end of the simulation, each of our child value properties of X, child C, child B, and environment will have that one as the X value. So this has worked as intended. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and add a mass rollup. So we go right click tools and then apply rollup pattern. And then we can select the mass rollup pattern apply recursively and set subset properties, click OK. And so it's added this subset mass everywhere. So what we'll do is we'll go in really quickly and just add some attributes to the mass values by redefining them. So now we'll go ahead and run the high level. And you can see that the total mass does add up here. So if I go down into our children, I got 42.1, 55, and 5 added up to make the parent block proxy port example block into 102.1. If I wanted to add something on the fly to an environment mass, which doesn't make any sense, but you can see that it would add up to the 108.1 in the, the uh, proxy port example system context. So this does work as anticipated. So now we'll go on to the full port example. So for this full port example, we have child A, child B are the exact same, but for child C, we're trying to make that a full port. So we we got our full port and then we typed our full port by the child C block. Remember that uh, full ports can be typed by blocks. Proxy ports can only be typed by interface blocks. So full ports have the ability to run behaviors within them while proxy ports do not. They're just simply a window, a pass through. I've seen several projects use proxy ports as logical entities while full ports have been used as physical entities. This is not as systeml as it has intended. So you can, you have, you have many different ways that uh, you can model, but uh, we're trying to highlight how there can be some problems if you use this full port. So before we get started with the simulation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the via P5 to via P6, and we'll see what happens there. So I'll go in here to P5 and change that to P6 this P6 of type child C. 
So that would be what I would anticipate because you're trying to send signal one, two, three via P6, which is this full port right here, send that to the environment. So we'll run this and see if that works. And you can see that it did not actually work. It did not send it over this full port as intended. So we'll look at other ways to make it work. So we had no issue receiving the signal one, two, three from child B to child C. The issue was sending the signal via P6 from child C to the environment. So that is this link right here. So we'll look into that. We can hit this icon, display all ports. And what we'll do is we'll make a new link from P5 to P7 and we will add the signal one, two, three across it. And uh, we'll just go ahead and delete this from the model for now. So this right here, this P4 and P5, those were created when this was created. So you can see, you can do the same thing here and make these two things the same. I mean, these, these uh, child C and, and this type of child C are going to have the same ports because of the nature of typing it by child C. So if I added another port here, P6, then you can see P6 here. So I'll just undo that. Um, so now we've got it where it's sending P3 to, or sending the signal one, two, three from P3 to child C. And we successfully received that, um, but uh, we weren't able to send it. So the last thing to try here is if we go back, we, now we want to change the, the, uh, what we're going to send it over. So instead of uh, sending it over P6, this whole thing, we're going to send it over P5. Oops. Try that again. Change this to P5. Close that. Stop the simulation and we will rerun it, see what happens. And you can see that uh, it appeared to work down here, but we are still seeing zero within child C. So you might ask what is going on there? We, we literally saw it go through the X equals X plus one, but why is the X value for child C not iterating from zero to one? Additionally, why are we seeing this is still red? Um, and it's kind of confusing at first why that has happened. So to explain that we can go to show ports and so what we've done is we're showing this P6 right here. And that, remember the P6 is the full port here. And you can see that that one value has actually happened for this P6 full port. So this child C of type child C is not talking about this right here. It's talking about this child C of type child C down here. So they are two separate things, which it's kind of not what is reality that we only have one child C that we're intending to send our signal through. So something is wrong and we have to fix it. So the reason this signal one, two, three is still red right here is because we have two instantiations of child C activity. So the first one that we saw it run through was the instantiation for running through this full port right here. And the second one is for this child C of type child C. So this child C of type child C is still awaiting the signal one, two, three, but we don't have a link between P3 and P4 to enable that signal one, two, three to be sent and received by child C of type child C. So we'll stop the simulation and we will go ahead and add that link and then add the signal between it and then rerun it. So 
So now we can see that it did send the signal in two different places. We see that this child C activity is completed. There's no red anywhere. And we see that the X values are both one for child C of type child C and X for P6 of child C right here. So that's great, but we're not actually trying to make two child C's. We just wanted one. Um, so the next thing that you could possibly do is remove this part property. And so that removes the child C from this entire IBD. And now we have it here. So we will run that. So it does work as anticipated, but it's kind of weird that um, if you have the normal settings, you, you wouldn't be able to see your child C in the breakdown. You actually have to go into the show ports to be able to see this child C. So and additionally, you have this weird nested situation, which I'm sure there's a way around, but um, it is kind of odd. So let's go ahead and do the roll-up pattern for this full port example. Tools, apply roll-up pattern, mass roll-up pattern. And then we'll go through and add the values by redefining. So if we look at this in detail, we do see that it does roll up as anticipated. We have child A, child B. If you look at this sum right here, this sum of the total, we got 10 plus 10 plus 5.1, which is 10 plus 10 plus 5.1. So it's, it's adding the child A plus the child B plus this child C. Because it's more difficult to follow where we got the numbers, this 5.1, for example, we have to jump all the way into the show ports and then find it within P6 type child C right here. Um, for example, if we hit all these, this is what your most simple view is. And you, you see that the total mass 25.1 is, is not the sum of 10 plus 10. So it would make you question if you're not super familiar with the model if your total mass roll up is incorrect or something else so it can be a little bit confusing so for that reason i suggest sticking with the proxy port method only and not using full ports additionally from a drawing package standpoint it can be confusing to try and figure out where child c goes in the drawing package is child c a part or a call out on this parent block full port example drawing package or is it just a part or a call out within child a so we don't know what level child c would be at is it you know it's kind of clear that we have child a child b child c by the name but you know if you've got something that's much larger it could be unclear if child c is actually a child of child a and so because you don't have these directed composition relationships between this parent and this child, it becomes a little bit more confusing. Another couple things to note is that uh, you don't have to have a via on the receiving side. Um, this right here is going to be an opaque action and the body language we've chosen to use English. And then this is just a send signal. And the only thing that we did to it, besides adding the signal, which you can drag and drop onto the send action, is add that uh, on port. So after that, you should be good to go.